Welcome to Mycomosin Tutorials for Invited Applicants. In this video, we will cover the following tutorials. How to log on to Mycomosin. How to check deposit amount and deposit due date. Student statement, when your bank is asking for an invoice. How to make a deposit payment with common payment cards. How to download a payment receipt and a student statement. How to print your class schedule. An invited applicant is a Camosun College applicant who has fulfilled admission requirements and has received an offer of admission. To offer admission Camosun College typically sends out a letter of eligibility in the form of an email message. You will find links to the college's self-service system in that message. Please do not confuse this letter of eligibility, LOE, with a letter of acceptance, LOA, for study permit, visa purposes. College issues letter of acceptance to international students in the PDF form after the deposit has been paid. Mycomosin is Camosin's interactive online information portal that allows you to view and manage your information, submit requests, and obtain forms and tax receipts. To log on to Mycomosin for the first time, you will need your Camosin College ID number. Enter your Camosin ID with no space between the C and the first number. Your default password will be your birth date in the following format. Two-digit month, two-digit day, and two-digit year. We recommend that you start by resetting your password to one of your choice. If you are having trouble logging on to Mycomosin, Please review the following article in our knowledge base. Micah Mosin, How to Check Deposit Amount and Deposit Due Date This tutorial shows how to check the deposit amount and a deposit due date when you have received the Camosun College Letter of Eligibility. Sometimes this letter is referred to as an offer letter. Access Micah Mosin portal directly or via links in your Letter of Eligibility. Once logged in Mike Camosin, select Student Finance. On the Account Summary page, you will see the deposit due date under Current Charges and the deposit amount under Total Amount Due. If the amount is negative, that means we have received your deposit. You can also see your start term at the bottom. My Camosin, when your bank is asking for an invoice from Camosin College. If your bank or a financial institution is asking for a deposit invoice, you are welcome to download your student statement. This tutorial shows how to download your Camosun student statement via Mycomosin portal. Once logged in Mycomosin, select Student Finance. On the Account Summary page, you will see the deposit due date under Current Charges and the deposit amount under Total Amount Due. If the amount is negative, that means we have received your deposit. You can also see your start term at the bottom. Select the start term. On the account activity page, select student statement. Before your admission process is finalized, your student statement reflects an account summary of total charges and deposit details. If you have been accepted as a new, first semester, international student, closer to your start date, the statement will reflect an account summary of total charges, class schedule, tuition fees, other student fees and deposit details. This PDF statement will print with the official Camosun logo and may be accepted by others when requested to provide proof of registration. However, this document is not valid for applying for your study permit or student visa with the Canadian Embassy, Consulate or High Commission. Once you have paid your first semester deposit, International Admissions will issue a letter of acceptance using a DLI template Immigration Canada requires. Mike Amosin, How to Make a Deposit Payment with the Most Common Payment Cards This tutorial shows how to make a deposit payment with the most common payment cards via Mike Amosin portal. To Make a Deposit Payment once logged in Mycomosin, select Student Finance. On the Account Summary page, next to Total Amount Due Select Make a Payment. 
To activate the payment method drop-down, scroll down to Tuition Deposit and select a check mark next to it. The payment method drop-down should activate. Select your payment method and select Proceed to Payment button. Review the payment information and select Pay Now when ready. You will be taken to Camosun's payment gateway. Please proceed accordingly. If you are not able to pay via the accepted international payment cards from the list, please check your letter of eligibility for other acceptable forms of payment such as international wire transfer, flywire, and others. My Camosun, how to download a payment receipt and a student statement. This tutorial shows how to download your payment receipt and a student statement after you have paid your deposit. Once logged in MyCamosin, select Student Finance. On the Account Summary page, if you will see the total account balance as negative that means we have received your deposit. Select Account Activity. On the Account Activity page, select Non-Refundable Deposits. Select the receipt number in the lower left corner of the page. You can now print the receipt or save it as a PDF file. On the account activity page, you can also access your detailed student statement. Select student statement in the top right corner. Before your admission process is finalized, your student statement reflects an account summary of total charges and deposit details. If you have been accepted as a new, first semester, international student, closer to your start date, the statement will reflect an account summary of total charges, class schedule, tuition fees, other student fees and deposit details. This PDF statement will print with the official Camosun logo and may be accepted by others when requested to provide proof of registration. However, this document is not valid for applying for your study permit or student visa with the Canadian Embassy, Consulate or High Commission. Once you have paid your first semester deposit, International Admissions will issue a letter of acceptance using a DLI template Immigration Canada requires. Micah Mosin, How to Print Your Class Schedule This tutorial shows how to print your class schedule or save it as a PDF file. Once logged in MyCamosin, select Student Planning. On the Overview page, select Go to Plan and Register. On the Plan and Register page, make sure you are looking at the correct semester. Select Print to print your schedule or to save it as a PDF file. Check our other MyCamosin tutorials.